Welcome back to the Forensics Unplugged channel, an informal quick review. Um, I've been looking at Chanel mitts, as I've said on the main channel, and exploring every type of Chanel option, trying to find the one for me. Now, I got really excited when I found this product. <laughs> Relatively excited, because it's a bit different from the norm. This is from an American company called Auto Fiber. Okay, they're predominantly in America. You can order the stuff and get it over here. So I found this on Amazon. Now it's, it's $10.99 in America and I think you've got to pay about 16 quid to get it over here, which is very expensive, import tax and all that sort of stuff. They are not. They need a distributor for the UK really to get, then you can get the price a bit more competitive. So I wouldn't normally pay that, but I've paid the money just because I wanted to check it out. Now it's a wash mitt, a noodle mitt. Chanel noodles, I believe, are the safest format, pound for pound. Although all formats can be used to good effect. Wool, you know, sponge, whatever you want to use. The key feature is it doesn't have the light, the, the tight black, or, you know, rubbery, elastic, uh, what's it called, cuff that clamps to your arm and stops the mitt coming down. Um, it does have a, a line of stitching in here, so both your fingers are either side of this and that stops it flopping right down so you get a bit of support in there with that which is important um, now that's it's double sided as well um, there is a label which you probably wouldn't want but it's tucked away the label and without the cuff you could use this like a pad almost and take your hand out of it and then when you've got to put your hand in and out of it you don't have to like pull on it because it's because the cuffs sort of you know clasping around your wrist which is kind of why I got interested. Um, does it have foam inside? It has something in there. They're like, they're like almost like strands which run down this way, but it's not really like foam. I don't know what it is. It's some material in there that's thick and does hold quite a bit of suds, but it's not like a sponge. And you can see after I've used it, it's kind of all wet and floppy. Um, is this what is this auto fiber product? what I'm looking for, is it for me? Um, no, it isn't. And that's, you know, when we do reviews, sometimes not everything works for me. And yes, everything is subjective. First of all, they have some interesting microfiber and they seem to do things, you know, they're a bit like the rag company, they're a microfiber specialist. And they have some quite interesting and unique products that I, I think they sort of come up with the idea and then have them made. And they've got all sorts of clever stuff. So. First thing is go and check out the Auto Fiber website, have a look at it. They have cloths that are stamp branded with numbers, one, two, three, four, so that you can remember which side you've wiped with. Things like that are genius. So they're a company that have some unique stuff and you need to be aware of. Why isn't this wash mitt for me? Um, it's too floppy on the hand. And when you, it's great for, or it's okay when you're on the top, you can even see that flop, look at that flop there. When you're on the top of the car and it sits down, it's absolutely fine. Um, it's quite a lot of weight to it when it's full up with water and all that sort of stuff. But it's when you're doing the side of the car, you know, if you don't keep this horizontal and you don't go that way, this thing wants to just slide straight off your hand and you're gonna drop it. And what you have to do is then clasp your fingers together or almost ball your hand up or take it out and grab it and sort of pin it. And then it becomes too much like a cloth and too floppy. So I thought it might be like that. Virtually every Chanel on the market, the little thing that I don't like about all of them, and it's not just the, the auto fiber product, is they all come a little bit too floppy. So I'm desperately, I'm desperately looking for one, a bit like this car end one with a foam inside it, where the foam is a lot stiffer and it's a bit smaller, so you can actually hold it and it doesn't flop up and I haven't been able to find it, and I don't think it exists. So the quest for the perfect Chanel pad, really, that I'm looking for, although that's slotted, you could do a pad almost with a slot in it like that, but I just want a pad, I think. The, the search continues, and unfortunately, like I said in the other video, I don't think that product is out there, unfortunately. Um, almost like what I want, what I'm looking for, get all excited. I want it to be the size of this little Incredi pad with a very stiff, thin foam that's really stiff and holds its shape and covered in the noodles and maybe even just tapered a little bit in the middle so that you can get your hand around it for when you're doing the side. And I want it to be as light as possible because they load up with water 
and detergent, they become very heavy on the panel. So the advantages of a mitt is that you can put your hand in there and lift up a little bit and just go very gently on your paintwork when you're trying not to scratch it. Um, if you can't sort of do that, then you've got the full weight of the thing on there and you're just run, rubbing over it with the full weight and the weight of your arm. I know it sounds like um, putting too much thought into this, but that's, that's what design and all that sort of stuff is about. And it's actually very simple things. So I'm just looking for that. And if you can find it, let me know. Auto Fiber was, a, I'm glad I had a look at it because it's unique. They're doing some cool stuff. They've taken that cuff away because they don't like the cuff. There's people out there that don't like the cuff. Um, but it's just a little bit too floppy. So thanks for watching. See you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. And uh, that's all for this one.